Hey, this is Amanda. This is Megan. And this is our booktube channel, The Ladies of Shalom. So we had some creative and ingenious ideas for our first joint booktube video, um, but in the end we decided to go with the simpler and easy to make newbie tag. So let's get started. First question. Why did you decide to start this channel? Because YouTube is a pretty awesome place and I've been wanting to make public YouTube videos for a while. When we discovered BookTube, it seemed like the perfect place to do that. My reasons are similar. I think YouTube is a really cool place. But also, I read a lot of books and sometimes I feel bad about that because it seems kind of a luxuriant, decadent habit. I think the way to not feel that way for me is to make sure that I'm reacting to the books in some way or that they're affecting me. So I've tried to like write reviews after every book I finish on Goodreads or stuff like that, but I haven't been very good at that and I'm hoping I will be better at this. Question two. What are some fun and unique things you think your channel can bring to BookTube? YouTube. I read a wide variety of books, so that's fun and unique. I read everything from picture books to histories in their original Latin. I think it'll be a very interesting because we're doing a joint channel. I mean, that's not unique. We, we kind of maybe sort of stole this from Two Paper Girls and the Blog Brothers, but at the same time, I think we're not as similar as some joint channels. Um, I think I read a lot of different books than you do. We will see. I think, yeah. <laughs> Question three. What are you most excited for about this channel? Books! I am really excited to hopefully start reading more books than I have in the past year. I got an email from Goodreads um, like a week ago that said, congratulations, you read three books this year. And I did read more than three books. I just hadn't put in like the date that I finished them and so it didn't count those ones. But still, I was kind of disappointed in myself. I read a lot more than three though, I promise. And I'm hoping that these videos will get me to read more. I'm excited for I think all the challenges that I hope this channel will ask for. Yeah, I'm excited to, to spend more time thinking about what I read and reacting to what I read. Um, and hopefully, therefore, being more influenced by what I read. Question question four. Why do you love reading? It's question four, right? Yep. Okay. Mm, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't require hand-eye coordination very much. It's really easy to find the edge of the page. I like it for the escapism. Escape, escapism? It's a way to, to travel that doesn't require the money to be able to travel. But yeah, you can see you can see other parts of the world, you can see places that don't exist, you can see the future. Books are bigger on the inside. They are. <laughs> question five. <laughs> what book or book series got you into reading? That's a really hard question for me because I feel like I've been reading for my entire life. I mean, if I had to say, I would probably say either the Bob books, because they're the first books I remember reading, or um, The Chronicles of Narnia. Not so much because I read them and they really got me into reading, but because I remember my dad reading them to my family. I have a similar problem coming up with like a single book or series that got me into reading. I'm gonna say The Sign of the Beaver, which I read in probably third grade um, in our like little class reading groups. That was the the chapter book during one term that my group was reading, and I loved that book a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna go with that book. Question six. What question would you ask your favorite booktubers? This is a favorite question of mine to ask people. Um, if you could live any time and any place, where and when? How would you decide how to organize your bookshelves? And do you reorganize them as often as I want to? And sometimes do. 
Question seven, the last question. What do you think will be the biggest challenge to overcome in starting a booktube channel? For me, I definitely think it's going to be consistency because that's not something I'm really great at. I think the biggest challenge for me will be the, um, where you like don't feel like you're, you feel like an interloper, that's not the word. Um, Oh, I, um, a phony. Yeah, but that's also not the word. For, for lack of the actual term, I'm just gonna call it the charlatan complex. Um, that's gonna be, that's gonna be my biggest, um, challenge, I think, to overcome, is, like, feeling like I can do this and I can do this sincerely and that I'm not a poser or a phony or all the other synonyms for the word that I can't think of. We would tag people, except that you kind of have to tag new people. To all our friends who are considering joining Booktube, the friends that are our friends in the real world, and the friends we haven't met yet who are thinking about joining Booktube, we tag you. Bye. I just started drinking. <laughs> That's not what I want to break. Have you mentioned that you're sisters? Oh, we're sisters. That's fun and unique. <laughs>